Number 1. Aston Villa sign Everton midfielder Amadou Onana for £50 million. Aston Villa is delighted to announce the signing of Amadou Onana from Everton for a transfer fee of £50 million. Onana, a deep-lying midfielder renowned for his ability to break up play and regain possession, recently represented Belgium at UEFA Euro 2024. The 22-year-old began his professional career with Hamburger SV in Germany before moving to LOSC Lille in League One. In the summer of 2022, Onana joined Everton, making over 70 appearances and scoring three goals in the previous season. On the international stage, he has been capped 17 times by Belgium. Villa fans eagerly anticipate Onana's contributions as he strengthens their midfield. Welcome, Amadou, Belgium. Number 2. Chelsea sign 19-year-old United States international Caleb Wiley. Chelsea is pleased to announce the signing of 19-year-old United States international Caleb Wiley. The talented left-back joins the Blues from MLS side Atlanta United, signing a six-year contract with an option for an additional year at Stamford Bridge. Wiley joined Atlanta's academy at the age of 11 and progressed through the club's youth setup. He made his debut for Atlanta's first team in 2022, scoring in a 3-1 victory over Sporting Kansas City. Over the next seasons, Wiley became a regular fixture, making 36 appearances in 2023. He debuted for the USMNT in October 2023 against Mexico. Wiley is currently with the US men's soccer team in Paris, preparing for the 2024 Olympic Games. Welcome to Chelsea, Caleb. 3. Bruno Fernandez Man UTD transfer ultimatum as PSG plot move for the skipper. Bruno Fernandez issued an ultimatum to Manchester United regarding his future as Paris Saint Germain, PSG, eyes a move for the midfielder. Since joining in January 2021, Fernandez has been a standout player and was named captain last season. However, he expressed his desire to remain only if the club values him. With new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe initiating an overhaul, Fernandez was not marked as off-limits for suitors. PSG, seeking to replace Kylian Mbappe, is preparing to bid for Fernandez. United manager Eric Ten Hag insists on keeping Fernandez, praising his commitment and performance. Talks between the clubs are expected to intensify, determining Fernandez's future at Old Trafford. Number 4. River Plate fans sing racist chant about France team to Enzo Fernandez. River Plate fans were heard repeating a racist and transphobic chant about the France team to Enzo Fernandez during an event honoring the Chelsea player for his role in Argentina's 2024 Copa America victory. The French Football Federation has referred the incident to FIFA, and Chelsea is investigating. Fernandez apologized for the offensive chant recorded in a live stream, stating it does not reflect his beliefs or character. Despite widespread condemnation, some in Argentina, including Vice President Victoria Villarreal, defended the players. Villarreal tweeted that, No colonialist country will intimidate us for a song or for telling the truths they don't want to admit. Number 5. Ten Hag claims Pep is the only manager in England to have done better than him. Eric Ten Hag claims that only Pep Guardiola has outperformed him since he took charge of Manchester United in May 2022. During his tenure, Ten Hag has won 68 of 114 games, lifting the Carabao Cup and guiding United to a third-place finish in his first season. Despite a challenging 2023-24 campaign where United finished eighth, they secured an FA Cup victory against Manchester City. Ten Hag emphasizes the need for consistency and a winning culture across the club. United has already begun addressing their struggles by bringing in new players like Joshua Zerkazi and Lenny Yoro. As the team prepares for the upcoming season, Ten Hag remains optimistic about United's prospects. 6. Benzema. No team is capable of being better than Real Madrid. Karim Benzema believes no team can surpass Real Madrid, calling them the best in the world. After leaving Madrid in 2023, Benzema reflects on his 14-year career with the club, during which he won 25 major trophies, including five Champions Leagues. He scored 354 goals for Madrid before joining Al Idahad in the Saudi Pro League. Benzema praises Real Madrid's enduring strength and predicts continued success. He also tips his former teammate Vinicius Jr. for the Ballon d'Or, highlighting his exceptional performances and ability to influence games. Benzema expresses confidence in Real Madrid's future, asserting that the club will remain at the pinnacle of football. Number 7. Liverpool flop-eyed for Premier League return after Jurgen Klopp phone call. 
Juventus midfielder Arthur is attracting interest from Premier League clubs Everton and Leicester City. Arthur, who struggled during his loan at Liverpool, is not part of new Juventus boss Thiago Mata's plans and is expected to leave this summer. Despite a more successful loan spell at Fiorentina, Arthur's future remains uncertain. Newly promoted Serie A side Como, now coached by Cesc Fabregas, is also interested but may need Juventus to contribute to Arthur's salary. Arthur's contract with Juventus runs until 2026, and his potential return to the Premier League could provide him with an opportunity to revive his career. Number 8. Real Madrid confirmed the time for Nacho's farewell ceremony. Real Madrid has announced a farewell ceremony for captain Nacho Fernandez on July 24 at Ciudad Real Madrid. Nacho, a product of Real Madrid's youth academy, joined the first team in 2011 and has won 30 titles with the club, including six Champions League titles. Over his career, Nacho played 364 matches, scoring 16 goals and providing 10 assists. The ceremony will honor Nacho's significant contributions to the club celebrating his illustrious career and dedication to Real Madrid. Number 9. PSG close to an agreement on personal terms with Manchester United Sancho. Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, is close to agreeing on personal terms with Manchester United's Jadon Sancho. The 24-year-old winger, who spent part of last season on loan at Borussia Dortmund, has attracted PSG's interest as they seek to bolster their offensive lineup following Kylian Mbappe's departure. PSG's sporting director, Luis Campos, has been impressed by Sancho's performances and is working towards an agreement with Manchester United, who have placed a 50 million euros valuation on the player. If completed, this move could provide Sancho with a fresh start in Paris. Number 10. Barcelona have clause that allows them to save 26 million euros in Lewandowski salary. Barcelona can save 26 million euros on Robert Lewandowski's salary if he plays less than 55% of the games this season. However, given the lack of competition for his position, it seems unlikely that Barcelona will activate this clause. Lewandowski, who will turn 37 in August, is set to earn 32 million euros this season and 26 million euros for the final year of his contract. Despite earlier speculation about finding a successor, Barcelona appears poised to continue with Lewandowski until the end of his contract in 2026, especially after an upturn in his form during the second half of the last season.